Hello everybody! My name is Cirque and welcome to the 18th episode of Cirque Plays Minecraft. Uh, today, we are going to be finishing up our ultimate uh, smelting contraption. Our amazing, amazing device that we uh, started on two episodes ago, I guess, sort of. And completely failed the first episode, but then learned how to actually do it. And then actually did it last episode, and now we're going to finish it, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, way better than this wall of furnaces behind me. There's just so much clicking involved in this. So, mu so much clicking. So much clicking. Okay, anyways, let's get down to business. So we're in the overworld because I need some stuff. Uh, mainly, I need one more comparator. So, I think we'll fill up our sticks here. Uh, so we need some stone. And we'll need uh, three torches. And we'll stick those like that, and that like that, and that like that. And we have two comparators, which is how many we need. And then we also need... Um, oh yes, we need more activator rails, which... Since we're in this chest, we might as well talk about the 22 diamonds that are here. Uh, I think I got those a while ago, but that brings our count up to... I believe we were at 91, so that would be 1... Uh, 111. Yes? I'm... For some reason, I feel like that's wrong. I always... I know it's right, but I always uh, doubt my math. So we have over a stack of diamonds that we ha are not currently using, which is kind of cool. And we're we're past 100 triple digits. How exciting! That's pretty cool. Um, and I guess you know it's, it's pretty cool. I guess you know it's kind of cool. Um, what else do we need? Oh, we need some iron because no. Oh, yes, no, no, we do not need iron. I was thinking we need another hopper, but. We don't. We just need the one that we have. So, um, that's right, like that. Okay, got six more active, or er, not activator rails, powered rails. So, stick that back, and let's go into the nether. Dun 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 dun. dun. And hello, 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 guys. Why are you? I can't hop like you guys. I wish I could do that. Look at them, look at them. They look like they're just hopping with giddy anticipation. Get out of there. This is, this is for special things. And you're, you're not a part of that. All right, so, uh, yeah, I dug out this because we're gonna need to do stuff here. Um, we're going to have the minecart come from down there. Uh, collect, it will collect the uh, smelted items from down there, bring them up via minecart, and drop them off right here. We'll stick a chest here, but we'll do that later. First, let's do the uh, downstairs part. So I f this, is, this is working now. Le at the end of the last episode, we were having some issues, but... Uh, got it fixed it's all working I just had a few hoppers that were not uh, placed correctly but now it's all good so now it works amazingly well so what we will need we will need some rails we will need not a hopper yet we will need comparator we will need blocks we will need other stuff but we'll wait on that so I need powered rail here um, black right there and I'll stick that so that's facing the right way because otherwise that's gonna bug me right now also need a block right there and then we need let's see we need a comparator right here which hopefully I can place this and I can't do we need that block yes we do okay um, maybe, nope, maybe, 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 come on, 
Yeah, it works. Okay. Um, is that right? Yes. Yes. I. Uh, yes. And we need a redstone torch. And I'll explain what I'm doing after I get more of it placed so that you guys can actually see it. Uh, get rid of that block. We need. What I'm doing is making a. I believe it's called a mono stable circuit. It's 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 very technical and amazing. Okay. And then repeater on four ticks. Can't forget that. Cause I have, and it's not not a good thing to forget. Guess we don't need that block. Oh yes we do, because otherwise the cart will just go off the track. And and that's everything. Yeah, that's that is every thing that we need for this part. So what I have made here is a mono stable mono stable circuit, and basically that means that uh, well I guess that means is that uh, right now this uh, this power does not travel through here, but if I stick something into this hopper the power still won't travel through but this block will drop and now if I take that thing out of here it will send a. I I don't know if you guys saw that but it will send a signal very quickly for a very short amount of time and so it's it's almost like a pulse generator but it only works one way which I guess is where the mono comes from um, so yeah it sends a pulse to this block but only when that is powered on. When it's powered off, it doesn't do anything. It just stays off. And basically what this does is what is happening, um, the smelting is occurring. You know, if I'm smelting iron ore, iron ingots are falling down into the hoppers. They're all getting pushed this way to this corner hopper. And once something is in the corner hopper, this gets unpowered and this block falls down and it's all set up primed I guess you could say it's primed and ready to go and then we'll have a minecart with a chest here which we can we can actually place right now we'll have a minecart with a chest right there hopper is feeding it into the chest and once it is empty and uh, once that hopper there is empty it will no longer send a signal. It will turn this on, send a pulse around, power the powered rail, and shoot this thing off and up top. So that, yeah, that's that's what it does. And that is how that works. So now, basically, you know, everything's smelting, and once it's all done smelting, it will stick it into the chest and send it up. Well, I, I guess not once it's all done smelting, but once like a batch is done smelting, it'll stick it in there, it'll stop flowing in there, and then that will send up. But anyways, stuff like that. So let's, uh, let's see. I don't know if I should use stone brick right now. Because um, I don't think I have very much. So I'll need to create a ramp up to here. And I think, I think this will work. I think that will work quite nicely. Um, there's so many pigmen around here. What are they doing with their lives? So we will, let's see. What? Okay, that was weird. Strange. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's, uh, let's just stick a powered rail here, I think. I think that'll be a good way to go. And then we'll power that block uh, with a lever, which is a very nice way to power blocks. Okay, and then we'll do this, and then stuff will happen. So now let's go up top, which, no, we can't get up top from there. So let's take our staircase, our special little stairway, and let's try and get this guy out of here, because he's going to be kind of in the way. Um, um, sir, 
sir. There's there's construction going on here. There's a little construction. I don't know if you can see, but I'm building something, and you're kind of in my way. And, and sir, sir, please please vacate the premises. I don't want to hit you, but I will. No, I won't. I will not hit you. Uh, okay. So. So. What do we need to do here? Well, first we need to take out this wall. Because I'm going to have to get back here. And that will probably be the easiest way. Second, let's play some chess. So I'm going to put my chess here. And that will be awesome. And working nicely. I believe. I believe. And then we need a uh, hopper feeding into the chest and then a powered rail on top of the hopper now what we need to do we need brick there so now we need a comparator coming off of the hopper and then we need we need brick again um, and then we need another torch that sticks on there. And then we're going to need... That's not what I wanted. Um, I need more... I need more brick. Some nether brick, that's what I want. Not stone brick. I don't know if I have any more. Or have the means to make any more. Um, well, there's... Sh yeah, there'll be coal. In... Yeah, we'll try not to mess this up too much. But let's let's run this. Hopefully it's gonna it's gonna send that minecart up here. But it'll stop here anyways, so you know it'll it'll be good uh it'll be a good test. So that's 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 uh see so yeah, as you can see the piston came up. Oh and look we have stone brick nice 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 everything's working except for the stuff we haven't built yet which if that worked that would be amazing if we just didn't build stuff but it worked anyways it's like whatever you know it's the thought that counts we'll let it work anyways okay so now we need redstone up here and then we need a block up there, yes. I'm not sure why that does that. Actually. And, uh, hey. Pig zombie, you just pushed it back. Okay, we have more nether brick now. To make nether brick. Do they really have the same name? They do, that's kind of weird. Is that the same with regular brick? I don't know. I don't use I don't use uh, brick very often. Uh, I need I need another rack now to fill in the stuff where I don't see stuff. Okay, and we'll take some extra nether rack just because we want to test this baby out. Let's take some coal too. There should be there should be plenty of coal in all the furnaces, but uh, just in case. So I need nether rack up in here just because it's full and or it's empty and doesn't need to be empty. Okay. Can't stick nether rack there. And we can't stick nether I suppose we could, but I won't. Cause we can you can kinda actually see that right there. And then that there. And then that there, and then that won't work there. So that there, that there. I'll we'll have to cover that up a bit. Um, it seems like it's not possibly working, but maybe it is. Maybe it's all done. Maybe we messed it up. Okay. Um. Ooh, I just got an idea. 
An idea that doesn't really matter. <laughs> Yay! What? 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 Maybe I should put a powered rail lower. Um, break the powered rail. There we go. That's okay. We'll put the powered rail here just because it seemed to be having trouble there. And it came back down. And it's empty. Yay. There was much rejoicing. Yay. Okay. So that that all works. And I'll show you guys. I'll show you it. I will show you all what works exactly. That. That. Um, I'm not sure if that will get stuck up there. Uh, it doesn't on the way up. What about on the way down? Yes. That's weird. So we'll stick that there to try and... Oh yeah, gotta unpower that. Okay. That's just a... So that's just a maintenance switch, I suppose. So let's... Uh, we can't get up there. That way. So let's go up this way. The correct way. Um, so let's put... Four stack, well, not not coal. That would be bad. That would clog up the machines. So let's put four stacks of nether rack in there. We got a stack of coal. Let's send them down. Let's go down and watch them. All right. So we saw last time the minecarts make their passes, drop stuff into the hoppers. Hoppers push it into the furnaces. Furnaces smelt the things and put them into the hoppers. Hoppers put them all into this hopper. It, uh, it fills up and then when the minecart comes it empties which uh, once it gets emptied it sends a pulse pretty soon, pretty soon. Um, there it sent a pulse, it sends it up it goes up top and hopefully we can get there before it stops it goes up top this hopper pulls it into this chest which I didn't show you I mean you guys kinda saw it but uh... basically once that hopper is done pulling all the nether brick out of there it will um... the comparator underneath underneath this block will no longer send a signal so this will turn back on which turns that redstone dust on because of the configuration here which it kinda seems to me like this redstone torch should power this block which should power that but I guess not especially with the dust there so I don't quite fully understand why you, you cuz you need this block. If you take away that, then that's no longer powered. So I find that kind of strange, but uh when you put that in, then it carries the charge over. So anyways, that's how that works. So yeah, once it's uh there it goes. So yeah, once everything is emptied out into the chest, the hopper no longer has anything in it sends a signal which powers that powered rail again and uh... sends it back down and i think it's actually i mean it's still smelting so yeah it came back down and it's still it's still a stuff to collect yeah there's quite a bit of brick in here in fact to put in there so that's that is the smelting contraption it is uh... It's working at 100% and it works, you know, it works very quickly, I would say. I mean, we already have, uh, you know, we already have a stack. It'll probably come up pretty soon, maybe. Maybe. If we wouldn't have been messing around, it would have, like, already made a couple passes up here. And, uh, because one of the problems now is that that one hopper has so much in it that it takes a while to unload it into the cart and then uh, and then by the time it's unloaded into the cart you already have like another batch of iron or not iron but uh, brick that is done smelting and comes through so it might take a while for it to actually come back but once it does it'll have quite a bit of brick and it will 
Yeah, it's yeah. Let's see, there it goes. Let's let's go see how much brick it has. Oh yeah, see it already it has like three stacks, over three stacks of brick. So now we already have you know three stacks, four you know over four stacks, and it hasn't been that long. It's been you know a couple of minutes, so it's. It's very nice. This is a very nice system to have. You don't have to keep clicking on furnaces to empty them and reload them. It's just a really simple, um, you know, fill the chest with the materials and it it just goes. So I'm, I'm so happy that uh, we now have these hoppers. It's so nice. And there's so many other cool things that you can do that uh that we will explore in this episode or in this series and uh this pig zombie's not good because he might actually get in the way of the track which is why i took out those blocks so huh i'll take care of him later i suppose i don't know i'll have to do something to kind of well i'll have to just block off the track or something put stuff around it so that one's almost empty. And now it gets sent back to pick up more. Oh, I guess <laughs> there must have only been like one or two bricks in there because it sent it back really quickly. And now it's sent back again. So that's, yeah, that's all of our nether brick. We already got our four stacks smelted really quickly. So that is awesome. It's I'm so glad to have this now. It's going to be such a great thing to use all the time especially while making this nether house I'm gonna need a lot of brick and that's that definitely saves it saves a lot of time and uh, I put the link in the last video too but I will do it again in this video I'll put the link to the tutorial where I learned how to build the furnace and this little contraption here and this whole thing here I'll put the link in the description to that tutorial where I learned how to do it. It's a great tutorial. It's probably a little more explanatory than what you see here since uh, I'm kind of trying to, f you know, I'm, I'm partially trying to figure it out as I do it. And I'm also, you know, shorter amount of time. I think that video is like 40, 50 minutes long, whereas I only have, I suppose it has been 40 minutes all together. But anyways... Um, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, next time, uh, we're gonna stop building, because we've been building the last, uh, like, five, six episodes, which I'm, I'm sorry about six episodes it has been, because we, uh, we built the skeleton trap, which took two episodes, we started working on this, which was an episode, we, uh, well, I guess we did nothing, during that furnaces episode where we we tried to build the furnace and failed utterly and then uh two episodes to get this contraption in place so i think we've had enough building i think it's time to explore and survive and conquer so we're going to be going and exploring the abandoned mine shaft that we found in episode two of circ plays minecraft and uh, i was just wondering um if you guys could tell me in the comments uh, what I should bring with me on that adventure, I've been I've been kind of toying with the idea of going in there like with nothing and kind of showing you guys how you can actually survive, uh, you know, off of nothing. How you can find resources in an abandoned mine shaft. But I don't know if you guys really want to see that. You know, maybe I should take stuff. Maybe I should go in all kitted out with like you know enchanted diamond everything and tons of food and everything and just go blaze through there and try and find chests and spawners i don't know you know i'm okay with either i guess um you know it's all about what you guys want what you guys want to see you know i'm doing this for you so i want i want to entertain you so just let me know which would be more entertaining uh either going in there empty bare with nothing or going in there with normal stuff you know let me know and uh thank you for watching please remember to 
give this video a like if you liked it and leave a comment you know telling me anything anything at all just uh specifically answering the question that i asked but you know anything else that is relevant to this video or the channel oh and uh i also mentioned this last time but i am considering doing like a kind of a vloggy a vloggy vlog thingy uh in the next couple of weeks sometime and so if you guys have any questions for me that you'd like to that you would like answered or any topics you want me to talk about you know put that in the comments let me know and I'll I will I will do that I will yeah yes okay anyways this has gone on long enough this is a long outro I'm sorry goodbye